One of the things that happened to us when humanity fell into sin we lost God's presence. The Bible says in Romans 3.23 all human beings or all men sinned. And they lost the glory of the Lord. The Bible says they fell short. What is the glory there? It is the aiding presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And for God to process the restoration or to effect the restoration of what we lost. He has put an arrangement that says the moment a person accepts Jesus God sends the Holy Spirit into your life immediately. The coming of the Holy Spirit into an individual's life that happened through salvation or when the person gets born again is God's way and means of restoring the presence we lost. Are you learning something? The Holy Spirit is not just just wind or something to cause you to feel some goosebumps or something to cause you just to pray in tongues. Holy Spirit is God's presence restored. And when Holy Spirit comes, never forget this. He comes with a clear mission to be your new power for conquering all the challenges of this life. So people who fail to truly appreciate and embrace the Holy Spirit well so that he can be able to assist them every day. They become church attending sufferers. And God will just fold his arms. Because when you suffer, he's got one question for you. Where did you put the Holy Spirit? The New Testament Christian is designed to function and operate differently from the Old Testament days Christian. In the Old Testament days, those believers in God of those days, they saw God and walked with God through a pillar of cloud by day. Pillar of cloud by night. The Holy Spirit was given only to those who were prophets and priests. But in the New Testament era, God came with a new move that he spoke through Joel the prophet. He said in the last days, this day, I, Jehovah, will no longer put my spirit in prophets and priests, but I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, all people. He's a mastermind. He wants all people to make it. All people to live victorious lives. All people to have God's glory. All people to have his presence. As a merciful God, he said through Jesus, I will remove the discriminatory wall. No more discrimination. Everyone who will believe in Jesus, you will be entitled to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit becomes your new power for dealing with every challenge. When Satan comes to you as usual, 
And you know how to embrace the Holy Spirit. The Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood. In Isaiah 59. The devil will come as usual. Not knowing that the game has changed. Not knowing that you are now living under a new order. It says when the enemy comes in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord. We lift up a standard against every attack. Write this statement and never forget it. Now that you are a Christian, God has put in you a new power. It is called the Holy Spirit. What is that powerful? Power for giving you an advantage. So that what defeats the people who are not connected to Jesus will not defeat you. Say, Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome, Holy Spirit. That's why Jesus spoke some powerful words. In John 14 16, He says, If you love me and obey my commands, I will pray to the Father. And the Father Father will give you another help. Christians here in this church. Christians all over the world. Let's read with understanding. Let's understand the mind of God. God has provided a special help for you in the person of the Holy Spirit. Whether you are educated or not. Connected or not connected. As, as, as soon as you accept Jesus, no matter how old you are, the Holy Spirit comes. When He comes, though your problems are still there, but we are now facing them with an advantage from heaven. That's why the Bible says God decided to package Himself. 2 Corinthians 3.17 He decided to package himself for the benefit of humanity. Put it in the New King James. He packaged himself. It says the Lord our God has taken another dimension. He is the Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. He's able to be in heaven. He's able to be in you. He's able to be in heaven. He's able to be in you. He's able to be with Christians in America. In Asia. Asia. In Europe. And he's able to be in you. As the Spirit. He becomes omnipresent. Present everywhere at the same time. Are you learning something? So it says where the Holy Spirit. So as soon as or as long as God who is now the Holy Spirit for your benefit for my benefit is well accommodated or embraced. The verse says where the Spirit of the Lord is. Let's paraphrase it. What does it mean? It says in a life where the Holy Spirit is fully embraced, fully accommodated and appreciated, freedom becomes guaranteed. So the reason many Christians are praying and they are not getting their freedom, they are not getting freedom from financial trouble, freedom from demonic powers, freedom from bloodline generational curses. It's not God's fault. It's their fault. They are failing to believe number one in the present Holy Spirit. Number two, they are failing to appreciate Him so that every day they say, Welcome Holy Spirit. I am in your presence. Anoint me with your power. Reign inside. 
that song should be sung by every Christian all over the world every week without because God never imposes himself on anyone he gave you the right to choose so if you feel you don't need him he can be there but never interfere with you. Because the Bible says the Lord is with you as long as you allow him to be with you. Lift up your